Hello everyone, this is Professor Vijay Sekhat from the Science Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to discuss unit number 4, 3D concept and object representation in which we are going to cover B-spline curves and surfaces. Out of this B-spline we are going to cover in this video B-spline curves, properties of B-spline curves and surfaces and uniform periodic B-spline. Now, first of all, B-spline curves and surfaces. A B-spline is a most widely used approximation spline because it has a two advantage over a Bezier spline. First one is a degree of B-spline polynomial can be set independently of a number of control points. That means it is not depend on number of control points but with certain limitation. And second one is B-spline allows a local control. That means we can modify a part of the curve without affecting other parts. Disadvantage of B-spline curve is a B-spline curve is more complex than Bezier spline. That means it requires more computation power as compared to a Bezier spline. Now B-spline curves. A general expression for a B-spline curve in a terms of blending function is given by a P of u is equals to summation over k is equals to 0 to n p k into b k comma d of u where u will be in between u minimum to u maximum and d can be less than greater than equals to 2 n is less than equals to n plus 1 where parameter p k is a input set of control points the range of parameter u is now depends on how we choose the b-spline parameters and a blend uh, b-spline blending function that is bk comma dr polynomial of a degree d minus 1 this blending function is a polynomial of degree d minus 1 where d can be a any value in between 2 to n plus 1 we can choose a degree of b-spline blending function with in between 2 to n plus 1 we can set d is equals to 1 also but then that curve is only a point plot and then it is of a no use because it will not give me a curve shape it will give me a simply point shape now by defining a blending function for sub intervals of a whole range we can achieve a local controls it is shown in this figure we can obtain a two different curve shape with a changing a position of a, our control point say for example here it is in curve in which first control point second control point third and fourth and here we have change first second third and fourth this change in control point will affect this part only it will not going to affect my other curve part and it is remain same in this both curve section that means we can modify a part of the curve and it will not going to affect other part of the curve. A B-spline uh, allows adding or removing a control points in a curve without changing a degree of a curve. That means we can add a control point without changing degree of the polynomial or we can remove a control point from the curve. A B-spline curve lies within the convex rule of at most d plus 1 control points so that a b-spline is a tightly bounded to the input position that means b-spline curve is tightly follow a path of the control point mm -hmm. it is tightly bounded a blending function of a b-spline is solved by a cox debord recursion formula as follow b k comma 1 of u is equals to 0 if u is vary from u k to u k plus 1 and uh, sorry 1 if u is vary from u k to u k plus 1 and otherwise it will be equals to 0. Now this value we can put in this equation we can solve this recursion and this recursive formula is given by b k comma d of u is equals to u minus u k upon u k plus d minus 1 minus u k into b k comma d minus 1 of u plus u k plus d minus u upon u k plus d minus u k plus 1 into b k plus 1 comma d minus 1 of u and this recursion will stop at this point and it will be we are going to put a value from this two value and then will reverse calculated and finally you can obtain answer for b k comma d of u using cox debord formula this formula is known as cox debord recursion formula the selected set of a subinterval 
endpoint uj is referred to as a not vector that means uh, whatever value of a not vector we can say uh, uj whatever uj we are going to use over the range that range is whole referred as a not vectors and individual value is referred as a not values we can set any values as a sub interval endpoint but it must follow a uj less than equals to uj plus 1 that means a previous value must be less than or equals to a next value we cannot set a next value less than the previous one value of u minimum u maximum depends on a number of control points degree d and not vectors for any u in between u d minus 1 to u n plus 1 sum of all blending function is always u equals to 1 that means k is equals to 0 to n b k comma d of u is equals to 1 there are three general classification for not vectors first one is uniform second one is open uniform and third one is non-uniform we'll going to discuss each one later on first of all we are going to discuss a property of baseline and then we'll going to we'll come to this particular uh, three classification of not vectors first of all properties of a baseline curve surfaces it has degree d minus 1 and continuity series to power d minus 1 d minus 2 over a range of u for a n plus 1 control point we have n plus 1 blending functions each blending function b k comma d of u is defined over a d sub interval of a total range of u starting at not values u k that means uh, any blending function can be associated with at most d sub intervals it cannot associated more than d sub interval and it will be a total range of u is divided into n plus d sub intervals by the n plus d plus 1 value specified in a not vectors with a not values labeled as u0 u1 up to up to n plus d the resulting baseline curve is defined only in interval from not values u rest to u d minus 1 up to not values u n plus one that means it will affect maximum this particular range only out other than this not value will not affect this particular function uh, each spline section is influenced by d control points that means uh, any spline section any blending function can be affected at most with by the d control point then after the d control points if we are going to adding any point if we are going to changing any point or if we are going to remove any point it will not going to affect my this particular curve section uh, any control point can affect at most d curve section that means any uh, control point can influence at most d blending function or d curve section after that it will not going to affect any curve section now representation of a not vector first representation that is uniform geodic b spline when a spacing between a not value is a constant the resulting curve is called a uniform b spline say for example here for uh, obtaining a not values we are having equal space that is 0 to 1 that means space of one unit 1 to 2 that means space of one unit 2 to 3 similarly one unit and for all other we are having space of interval will be one unit for here same for in this next example that is 0 0.1 0 0.0 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.0 up to 1.0 that means here we are having a spacing of 0 0.1 unit that means here we are having a uniform spacing equal spacing between each node value and uniform b spline have a periodic blending function because for a given value of n and d all blending function has a same shape if you are going to plot it on a graph then it will give me a same shape but it is each successive blending function is simply a shifted version of previous function that means it is shifted by interval and that interval is known as delta u and it is decided by this particular not value interval that means b k comma d of u is equals to b k plus 1 comma d of u plus delta u is equals to b k plus 2 comma d of u plus 2 delta u and so on where delta u is the interval between adjacent not vectors that means here a uh, spacing between these two adjacent not values thank you that's it keep watching keep learning have a nice day